Welcome everybody to Blizzard Peak Hill Climb and today we're dealing with the 2016 Vauxhall Corsa VXR and it says a 715 horsepower, 466 pounds feet of torque, 2.3 litre turbocharged inline 4 engine and the car itself weighs 2,812 pounds. It's got all wheel drive, snow tyres and off road suspension and it can do 0 to 16 3.186 seconds, 0 to 106.291 seconds and do 219 miles an hour. So yeah, this is the uh, first normal road car hot hatchback that we've had on this series. I know we had the Ford Jim Carn 9 Focus, but that wasn't really any at all rem resembling a Focus anymore, even in looks. So uh, yeah, first proper hatchback. Uh, we did also have the Peugeot 205, but that was a rally car version for the road, and certainly wasn't a hatchback anymore because its boot was full of an engine. So uh, yeah, I guess you could say this is the first uh, fully fledged hot hatchback that we've had on this series. And I uh, gave it all wheel drive because obviously it's only front wheel drive, and dealing with more than 700 horsepower in a front wheel drive car would make it either undrivable or just really, really slow. So, uh, yeah, that's why I gave it all-wheel drive, but it didn't add all that much weight, and it's still a really, really a light car. It's easily one of the lightest cars that we've had on this series so far. So, uh, yeah, that power, the all-wheel drive, and the fact it doesn't weigh a lot much might help it. So, yeah, let's just see what it can do. This car's obviously front wheel drive originally, so it shouldn't have too much understeer now that it's sharing the power with the rear end as well. It's always hit that wall. Really good turn in though on this car. A little bit of oversteer, but it's to be expected. Really decent acceleration. It's really quite nimble and agile as well, which is to be expected again because it is a small car and it's really rather lightweight. Just deal with that. <laughs> so yeah, that's a pretty quick time from such a car like this. At two minutes, one second, point six eight eight, which puts it ahead of the Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG, uh, ahead of the uh, Subaru uh, Rally car, the RJ Anderson Polaris, the International Scout 800A, and the Peugeot 205 T16, and it's ever so slightly behind the Ford Jim Carna 9 Focus and the Volvo V60 Polestar which is pretty good for it to be only slightly behind that Ford Jim Carner vehicle because obviously that had better handling and uh, yeah a lot more acceleration I think as well despite having uh, less power I think it had yeah and uh, yeah the car itself handled really well apart from the ending where it hit the wall but that was mainly down to the ice uh, it was solid solid acceleration I really really liked the turning and the uh, slight oversteer that it had to get it around some corners and uh, yeah just a really nice car to drive. Not the fastest, no, but then again, it's a hot hatchback that has quite a lot more power than it had originally, so uh, yeah, that's to be expected. But yeah, to be quicker than like some of Mercedes Benz, which is a car that was already able to deal with a lot of power and didn't have all that much power in comparison to what it had originally, is uh, really rather impressive. And uh, yeah, for the first proper hot hatchback that we've had. That's a solid time and uh, certainly gives me the confidence to try out more of them. Anyway, thanks for watching 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.